Before the war, a narrative was built. Russia may have a lot of weapons, but the West has better weapons. Two years later, so-called better weapons are in Russian museums and labs. We will tell you all about it. Before that, if you're a fan of non-corporate monetary news and analysis, you've landed on the right YouTube channel. Okay, let's begin. Russia's state arms manufacturer under the oversight of Rostec, the Russian state corporation responsible for conventional weapons, ammunition and special chemistry, is in the process of developing an advanced range of tank shells. This initiative, as announced by Bekhan Ozdoev, the industrial director of Rostec, is grounded on comprehensive analysis of Western armored vehicles captured by Russian forces. The primary objective of this development is to enhance the capabilities of Russian ammunition to effectively penetrate the improved protective measures of newly designed Western tanks. The motivation behind this strategic move was further emphasized by recent events where Russian forces successfully destroyed three M1 Abrams tank within a single week with one being neutralized by a Russian T-72B3 tank in a single shot. This incident was heralded by Russian officials as proof of the inferiority of the Western armored vehicles, which they disparagingly refer to as empty tin cans. Along with Abram tanks, Russia has in its possession German-origin Leopard 2 tanks and U.S. Bradley infantry fighting vehicles. As per footage, released by Moscow. Russia also recently shot down a long-range Storm Shadow missile. We will talk about UK's Pride Storm Shadow in full details later in the video. The capture and subsequent study of these Western military assets serve a dual purpose. They allow for reverse engineering and the extraction of military secrets. Such practices are not uncommon and play a crucial role in the development of countermeasures against enemy equipment. As per Oryx, a Dutch open source intelligence platform, Russia's tally of captured Western military hardware includes approximately 131 tanks, 82 armored fighting vehicles, 123 infantry fighting vehicles, and 98 armored personal carriers. Russia remains committed to advancing its military capabilities as evidenced by its work on controlled detonation shells and a remote control system for the Terminator BMPT tank support vehicle. These developments have successfully undergone state tests, validating the engineering concepts behind them. The Terminator BMPT, a tank support combat vehicle based on the T-90 tank and developed by the Ural Wagons Award business, a division of Rostack, features automated 30mm 2A42 cannons and supersonic guided missiles, highlighting Russia's ongoing efforts to bolster its military technology in the face of evolving threats. Now coming to the long-range Storm Shadow Missile. The Panzer M Naval Air Defense System deployed by the Russian Navy successfully intercepted a long-range Storm Shadow Missile, which was launched by Ukrainian forces. This event marks the first instance of the Russian Naval Air Defense System neutralizing a Franco-British long-range air-launched cruise missile. This accomplishment is not only a testament to the advanced capabilities of the Panzer M system, but also represents a critical advancement in Russia's defense mechanism against aerial threats. Oleg Ryazantsev, General Director of High Precision Complexes, holding and subsidiary of Rostec, confirmed during a Zvezda Plus TV channel interview the Panzer M Naval Air Defense System's first successful engagement and destruction of a storm shadow missile. This operation conducted from the Karakut class corvette Cyclone, the only Black Sea Fleet vessel equipped with Panzer M, underscores its capability against advanced threats. The intercepted missile provided to Ukraine by Western allies underscores the strategic value of such defense systems following significant losses to the Russian Black Sea Fleet since Feb 2022. Storm shadows and scalp missiles supplied by the UK and France respectively have notably impacted Russian naval assets, emphasizing the necessity for advanced air defenses. The Panzer M or its export version Panzer ME represents a naval iteration of the Panzer air defense systems equipped with five 7E6 and Hermes K missiles and six barreled rotary cannons. 
designed for medium to long range and close range defense its ability to engage multiple targets simultaneously and its modularity offer comprehensive protection against aerial threats including low flying missiles in january 2024 russia showcased the panzer me's effectiveness in countering airborne threats marking a significant advance in military defense technology this successful interception not only demonstrates the panzer m systems capabilities but also likely boosts the global perception of russian defense technology so bit by bit the illusion of advanced western weapons like abrams tanks bradley infantry fighting vehicles leopard 2 tanks and the storm shadow missile is getting undone perhaps that's why the us is not trying its hands on conventional warfare anymore choosing instead to stick to sneakier alternatives like terrorism under biden the prodigal son of the potus is already under russian spotlight the crocus city attack watch this report